guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and oftentimes I get the question asking about water intake and how to reach your water goals. When you have this lofty goal of 100 to 150 ounces of water a day, it can seem overwhelming, and especially when it comes to the weekends when you're not in your normal routine. But some easy tips for getting your water intake in starts with your water bottle. I know it sounds silly, but it truly is a game changer. If you don't have a water bottle that you carry around, it is so hard to get your water intake in, and having water water bottle that you really enjoy is huge. I absolutely love this hydro flask. I think it's so cute, first of all, but I also have a boot on it so then it doesn't hit um, anything that I set it down on. So it's quiet, which is helpful. It is insulated so it doesn't sweat and I hate sweaty water bottles. So that's huge for me as well. And it also keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. Um, and then you can also buy a straw lid for it, which I'm much more likely to drink water through a straw. And then it has something for me to hook on and hold on to. So this is is super easy for me to take places. It's 32 ounces um, and Alex has one that's 40 ounces. And so you only have to fill it up a handful of times. You're not filling up a 16 ounce water bottle or an eight ounce glass multiple, multiple times. And again, it keeps your water cold if you want it to be cold. So that's going to be step one. The other thing is going to be making timers on your phone throughout the day. You get to the end of the day, you haven't planned, and you're like, man, I still got 80 ounces of water to drink. Putting that all down is pretty difficult. So being able to set timers throughout your day, maybe a check-in with yourself around 10 or 11 a.m., around 2 or 3 p.m., and then around 6 p.m. so you're not chugging water before you go to sleep because you obviously don't want to disrupt your sleep or go to sleep with such a belly full of water that's not a super pleasant feeling whatsoever. Um, so being able to set those reminders. Also, if you're working out that day, sticking to the rule of 20 20, 20 or 30, 30, 30 of having 20 ounces pre-workout, 20 ounces intro work workout and 20 ounces post-workout. So that can either be 60 ounces down the hatch or 90 ounces down the hatch, really easy to get done. Um, now, if these things aren't working for you, aren't helpful for you, and you're still struggling to get your water intake in, you can also download an app called Plant Nanny, which some of my clients have seen great benefits from. And it's a little plant that you have to nanny and you have to water it throughout the day. And basically it's tracking your water intake. So it's something a little bit more fun, a little bit more interactive if that works for you. Um, and lastly, it's just making sure that you make it a priority as you go about your day. Um, planning is going to help you succeed. That's the same with your macros. That's the same with your gym. Everything is going to be coming down to planning. So if you think you can just wing it and get all your water in, that might end in you chugging water at one point or not feeling super great. I do have some clients that we utilize tea or different flavorings to make sure that they get their water intake in, but those are my top tips for hitting your water intake. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions or wanna check out any other videos, give us a look at physiquedevelopment.com.